1967, the film Point Blank stunned Hollywood with a provocative image of its lead actress in scanty attire. Directed by John Borman, the movie starred Lee Marvin, Angie Dickinson, Keenan Wynn, and Carol O'Connor, adapted from Donald Westlake's 1963 novel The Hunter. This classic crime film captivated audiences with its gripping narrative and stellar performances. The unexpected appearance of the actress dressed daringly added an element of intrigue that further solidified the movie's reputation as a groundbreaking work of cinema. Hollywood was truly shocked by the bold choice that pushed the boundaries of traditional portrayals in film, making Point Blank a landmark in cinematic history. Borman directed the movie at Marvin's request, which was a pivotal moment in its development. Marvin not only starred in the film but also played a central role in shaping its vision. This classic, known for its innovative narrative style and stark visual storytelling, quickly resonated with audiences. The film's gritty portrayal of revenge and betrayal struck a chord, leading to significant success. It grossed over nine million in theatrical rentals during its release year, a remarkable achievement that highlighted its popularity. The unique blend of stylish cinematography and a haunting score further captivated viewers. Over time, it has transcended its initial release, evolving into a cult classic that continues to influence filmmakers and attract new fans. Its themes of disillusionment and relentless pursuit create a powerful experience that remains relevant even decades later, securing its place in film history. The combination of Marvin's star power and Borman's direction forged a lasting legacy that is still celebrated today. In the 1967 movie Point Blank, the storyline follows a ruthless crook named Walker, portrayed by Lee Marvin, as he's betrayed by his partner Mal Reese, played by John Vernon. Reese leaves Walker for dead after shooting him on Alcatraz Island, but Walker miraculously survives. Years later, Walker resurfaces, seeking vengeance against Reese for his treachery. Walker embarks on a relentless quest to settle the score with his former accomplice, leading to a gripping tale of retribution and justice. As the tension escalates, Walker's thirst for revenge drives him to confront his betrayer in a climactic showdown filled with suspense and intrigue. Point Blank showcases the timeless theme of betrayal and redemption taking viewers on a thrilling journey through the criminal underworld. Upon receiving a crucial lead on Reese, Walker's pursuit takes an intriguing turn. A mysterious man, played by Canon W.N., reveals that Reese has become entangled in a significant criminal organization. This revelation adds layers to the narrative, as it connects the protagonist's quest for revenge to a more extensive network of crime. The connection deepens when Walker learns that Reese is romantically involved with Chris, his wife's sister. Portrayed by Angie Dickinson, Chris initially appears to be another complicating factor in Walker's journey. However, upon reaching out to Chris, Walker uncovers a surprising truth. Contrary to what he was led to believe, Chris harbors a strong disdain for Reese. This twist changes the dynamic significantly. Rather than an obstacle, Chris becomes an unexpected ally in Walker's quest for justice. Her willingness to aid him adds complexity to both characters and their motivations. Chris's character transforms from a potential adversary to a source of support, illustrating how relationships can shift dramatically under the weight of revelation. This dynamic interplay fuels the tension and emotional stakes of the film, ultimately enriching the narrative of this classic. Production enthusiasm in 1967, the film was produced by Erwin Winkler, who had truly become enthusiastic about the script. Seeing Lee Marvin as the ideal fit, there were struggles to get the script to Marvin. Consequently, it was sent to John Borman, an emerging director known to Winkler from his management days. Borman's vision and direction brought the movie to life in ways that resonated with audiences, creating a classic that continues to be celebrated for its impactful storytelling and memorable performances. The collaboration of Winkler, Marvin and Boorman resulted in a film that stood the test of time, showcasing the power of passion and persistence in the world of cinema. In the exciting world of cinema collaborations, in 1967, 
something remarkable happened. Lee Marvin and John Borman crossed paths in London. Marvin, deep into shooting the Dirty Dozen, and Borman engaging in talk about a script and the underlying book. Surprisingly, both harbored disdain for the script, but found a shared passion for the walker, the central character. In a moment of artistic sensing, they decided to embark on bringing this character to life together in the movie. A union of minds bound by a mutual respect for the narrative potential they saw. A tale of two creatives finding common ground amidst divergent opinions. A true testament to the magic of collaboration in filmmaking. The birth of a partnership that would birth a classic. In 1967, during the making of the movie Point Blank, Lee Marvin took control of script and production decisions. He gathered the studio heads, producers, his agent and director John Boorman for a pivotal meeting. Asserting his authority, Marvin confirmed his script approval and main casting decisions. Surprisingly, he then delegated all approvals to Boorman, granting him an unusual level of control for a first-time Hollywood director. Marvin's unconventional move allowed Boorman to exercise final cut privilege a rare creative freedom in the industry. This bold decision set the stage for Boorman to shape point blank according to his vision, marking an extraordinary debut for the director in the world of filmmaking. MGM agreed to finance the project with a budget of about two million, but their head of production wanted the female lead played by Stella Stevens. However, Borman and Marvin insisted on having Angie Dickinson in that role. This casting decision created some tension during the production of Point Blank, the clash of opinions between the studio and the filmmakers added an interesting behind-the-scenes dynamic to the making of the film. Despite the initial disagreement, the final choice of Angie Dickinson for the role added depth and complexity to the character, contributing to the success of the movie. The negotiations and compromises made during the casting process ultimately shaped the final outcome of this classic film. The film has a really unusual structure to it, and that's due in part to the original script in which they adhered to the non-linear structure of the novel. This classic was the first movie that was shot at Alcatraz Island, the famous prison near San Francisco. You see, it was closed in 1963, only a few years before production began. The two weeks of shooting in that abandoned prison required the services of 125 crew members to pull it off. During the filming of Point Blank, Marvin and W found the location to be strange and cool. They both enjoyed shooting at the spot. However, their major concern was the weather, which they felt might necessitate looping half the dialogue due to its unpredictability and potential interruption. The unique setting added an element of mystery and intrigued to their experience, making the filming process both exciting and challenging. Despite the weather concerns, Marvin and W were able to adapt and create a memorable final product. During the magazine photo shoot for the 1967 movie Point Blank, Angie Dickinson and Sharon Aray are modeled contemporary fashions for Life magazine exclusively against the backdrop of the prison. In other location shots, the director Borman chose locations that were really stark. For example, the airplane terminal walkway down which Marvin walked originally had flower pots that lined the wall. He had those pots taken out to make it look completely bare. Marvin didn't think that John Vernon was a good match for his role, as he felt the actor wasn't strong enough to contend with him in the movie. Director Steven Soberg commented on the sound of Walker's footsteps as he quickly walked through the airport. Additionally, John Borman revealed that when Lee Marvin passed away, his widow asked the filmmaker if he wanted anything to remember him by. The filmmaker requested the shoes from the memorable airport scene, and that's what he received. During the same discussion, they talk about Angie Dickinson and her nude profile that you see in the background. The director recalled a famous comment of hers when she was asked if she dressed for men or women. Her comment was, I dress for women, I undress for men. Point Blank is a classic film that captures the essence of mystery and intrigue with memorable characters and intense storytelling. Angie Dickinson's quote adds another layer of depth to the narrative, showcasing her strong and confident persona. Her statement reflects not just her character in the movie, but also her real-life attitude towards style and empowerment. The inclusion of such details enriches the viewing experience.
making Point Blank a timeless piece of cinematic art. While discussing the 1967 film, one cannot overlook the presence of Roberta Haynes, an actress who had a small but fascinating role in this classic. Her career in Hollywood was notable, filled with various roles, but it could have been even more prominent had fate taken a different turn. She was cast in the iconic film High Noon alongside Gary Cooper. Unfortunately, despite her efforts, all the scenes she filmed ended up on the cutting room floor. This significant omission meant that she never had the opportunity to grace the screen with the legendary Cooper. The chance to showcase her talent in such a celebrated production could have dramatically altered the trajectory of her career. A breakthrough role at that moment in time might have opened doors to more leading parts in films, shifting her from supporting roles to a more recognized status in the industry. Roberta Haynes remains a captivating figure in cinema, with a career marked by both achievements and lost opportunities that resonate with the challenges many actors faced during that era. Her story reminds us how the fortunes of performers can change in a heartbeat, shaped by the decisions made during the editing process and the unpredictable landscape of Hollywood. During 1952, a full-page photo of a woman appeared on the back cover of a trade magazine, creating a significant stir in Hollywood. This image was not just a simple photograph, it sparked controversy and drew strong objections from notable figures in the industry. A prominent columnist, known for her influential opinions, expressed disapproval, arguing that the photo was inappropriate. Furthermore, Luella Parsons, another respected voice in Hollywood, criticized it as being in bad taste. The Association of Motion Picture Producers joined in the backlash asserting that such salacious photos of women would not contribute to success in the film industry. While many have since searched for the exact image, it's unclear if the one currently available is indeed the same. To modern viewers, the photo may not seem shocking, but it's essential to consider the context of 1952, a time when societal norms and expectations regarding women's images were very different. This incident highlights the tension between artistic expression and moral standards in a rapidly changing cultural landscape. In the movie Point Blank, Roberta Haynes, who passed in 2019 at the age of 91 in Delray Beach, Florida, played a significant role. Her performance added depth to the storyline and showcased her talent. Roberta's portrayal captivated audiences, making her a memorable part of this classic film. Her legacy lives on through her work on the screen. In 1967, Point Blank hit the big screen, captivating audiences with its thrilling story. This classic movie brings viewers into the world of revenge and betrayal. Set in a time of change, it reflects the era's tension and intrigue. The film's significance lies in its innovative storytelling and unforgettable characters. With its timeless appeal, Point Blank continues to be a favorite among fans of action-packed cinema. The casting process for the 1967 movie Point Blank involved meticulous auditions to select the perfect actors for their roles. Lee Marvin, known for his tough guy persona, was chosen to portray the relentless protagonist Walker. Actress Angie Dickinson brought depth to her character through chemistry tests with Marvin, solidifying her role as Chris. John Vernon's audition impressed the filmmakers, leading to his role as the enigmatic Mal Reese. Keenan Wynn's experience and talent secured him the part of the cunning Yost. These pivotal moments defined the casting choices for the iconic film, ensuring a stellar lineup of actors to bring the story to life. In creating the 1967 movie Point Blank, the director had a clear vision that guided the portrayal of the story. Drawing from various creative influences, the director aimed to bring a unique style to the film emphasizing bold visuals and intense storytelling. Throughout the production process, the director collaborated closely with the cast and crew, ensuring that everyone worked in harmony to translate the vision onto the screen. This collaborative effort enriched the film with diverse perspectives and talents, contributing to the overall success of Point Blank. We, the 1967 movie Point Blank, featured innovative set design and filming techniques. The production team faced logistical challenges in finding suitable locations for filming. They utilized advanced technologies to create realistic scenes, 
pushing the boundaries of filmmaking during that time. The attention to detail in set design and the use of cutting-edge equipment enhanced the overall visual appeal of the movie. Despite the challenges, the team's creativity and dedication led to the successful creation of this impactful film. The music in the 1967 movie Point Blank was carefully crafted to enhance the story and evoke emotions. Composers and musicians worked together to create a soundtrack that complemented the narrative and set the tone for each scene. The music added suspense, drama, and intensity to the film, elevating the viewer's experience. The collaboration between the filmmakers and the music team resulted in a powerful audio-visual experience that resonated with audiences. The soundtrack of Point Blank truly brought the film to life, emphasizing its themes and characters through the power of music. In the 1967 movie Point Blank, one iconic scene is the tense confrontation between Walker and Brewster on Alcatraz Island. The powerful direction by John Borman creates a palpable sense of suspense as the characters face off. Lee Marvin's intense performance as Walker and Angie Dickinson's portrayal of Chris add layers of complexity to the scene. The cinematography captures the stark beauty of the island, enhancing the atmosphere of isolation and danger. This scene resonates with audiences due to its gripping tension and the dynamic between the characters. Filmmakers and actors have praised this scene for its raw emotion and visual impact, solidifying its place as a memorable moment in cinema history. The 1967 movie Point Blank had a significant cultural and social impact. Audiences were captivated by its story of betrayal and revenge, which resonated strongly with viewers. The film's stylish direction and unique narrative style influenced pop culture, inspiring other filmmakers to experiment with storytelling techniques. Additionally, Point Blank contributed to discussions on themes such as loyalty, power, and corruption, sparking conversations about society's darker aspect. Its impact can still be felt today in the way it challenged traditional cinematic conventions and explored complex moral dilemmas. Upon its release in 1967, Point Blank garnered a mix of critical acclaim and puzzled reactions. Some reviewers praised its bold style and innovative storytelling, highlighting the film's stark visuals and disjointed narrative that mirrored the protagonist's fractured psyche. Critics like Roger Ebert noted it as a visually arresting film, appreciating its unique approach to the crime genre. Audience reactions varied. Many viewers found the unconventional structure confusing, while others embraced its artistic ambition. Despite mixed initial responses, the film has grown in stature over the years, often recognized as a classic of American cinema. It received nominations from several organizations, including the Directors Guild of America, which acknowledged John Borman's direction. The film's influence is evident in later works, inspiring filmmakers with its blend of existential themes and stylish execution. These accolades reflect the talent of those involved and signify a lasting legacy that continues to resonate with new audiences. During the making of the 1967 movie Point Blank, an interesting behind-the-scenes anecdote is how the lead actor, Lee Marvin, performed many of his own stunts, adding authenticity to the action sequences. Additionally, the famous scene where Marvin pursues his enemies through Alcatraz was actually filmed on location at the island prison, providing a chilling atmosphere for both the actors and the audience. Another noteworthy moment was when Angie Dickinson accidentally knocked out Marvin during a fight scene, showing the dedication and physical demands of the performances. These personal glimpses into the experiences of the cast and crew highlight the excitement and challenges faced during the production of this iconic film. The 1967 movie Point Blank holds a significant place in film history due to its innovative storytelling and visual style. Its impact on future filmmaking can be seen in the way it challenged traditional narrative structures and influenced the development of the neo-noir genre. Point Blank inspired a new generation of filmmakers to experiment with unconventional techniques 
and pushed the boundaries of cinematic storytelling. Subsequent works drew inspiration from Point Blank's themes of revenge, betrayal, and moral ambiguity, contributing to its lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Have you watched the 1967 movie Point Blank? Share with us your personal experiences and memories from this film and how it may have influenced your perspective on cinema. Engage with us through likes, shares, and subscriptions for more cinematic explorations. Your stories are valuable to us, so let's celebrate the impact of this classic movie.